This training video was developed at the Statistical Services Centre at the University of Reading. It's part of a set of resources aimed primarily at researchers. In the earlier demonstrations in this series, we showed how to set up the data dictionary to match the structure of the questionnaire and how to create the data entry forms. A version of CS Pro, called CS Pro Mobile, exists for handheld devices or PDAs and in this demonstration we will show how to adapt your data entry application so it can be used on such a device. CAPI in this context is Computer Assisted Personal Interviewing and to use your data entry system on the PDA you must have the CAPI op options enabled. Make sure you are in the Forms section of CS Pro, then from the Options menu choose Data Entry. Tick the checkbox for CAPI mode and make sure Use PPC Controls is also checked. This will give option buttons as appropriate on the PDA screen. PPC stands for Pocket PC. We assume you already have CS Pro Mobile installed on your PDA and if not, connect your PDA to the PC in the usual way and follow the instructions in the CS Pro Help. If you search for Pocket PC, you will find information on how to load CS Pro Mobile and how to use the PDA. Having set the options, you should now see CAPI text for each question and the CAPI text will appear in this top section of the screen. This is the text that will appear on the PDA screen. The PDA does not display a data entry form but instead displays one question at a time. From within the form view, select an item from the list on the left hand side. Then choose the toolbar button for CAPI question or choose view CAPI questions. You can adjust the formatting of the text using different fonts, sizes and styles. We have found that Arial size 10 is a suitable size for a standard PDA. Enter the text then click the next item in the list. Items with associated CAPI questions will be listed with a yellow question mark by the side. We'll continue to add CAPI text for all the items. And here we can see we have the CAPI text for all items in the questionnaire. Let's save this. There are two files that need to be transferred to the PDA for the application to run there. The first is the program information file, which has the extension PFF. Here we see baseline survey PFF. This file is automatically generated when you run the data entry application on your des desktop PC. The second file that's needed is a binary or compiled version of the application and the file has the extension ENC. To create this file we go to the file menu and choose generate binary. We accept the default name of baseline survey ENC and click save. We now have the two files baseline survey ENC and baseline survey PFF and we need to copy these files to the mobile device. So we select the two files to copy. We choose Control C to copy them. Then go into our mobile device, into CS Pro examples, where we will paste them. And here is our baseline survey application on the PDA.
The key points to remember about preparing your system for use on the PDA are 1. Set CAPI mode and PPC controls. 2. Create a CAPI question for each item. 3. Generate, generate a binary file, which is .enc. And 4. Copy the binary file and the program information file, .pff file, to the mobile device.